Hello fellow YouTubers. So I want to talk about SQL Server, ADO.net, and Visual Studio. And uh, what I'm about to present is um, how to use some of the classes in ADO.net um, to connect to a SQL Server, but not using not using the the, the, the design time, but using the uh, the uh, the code tab. So then you're doing everything in code instead of just drag and dropping in and going through the wizards. Okay, so let's try to do this. Um, first of all, since we're going to do everything from the very beginning, I'm going to start SQL Server here. I'm running SQL Server 2008. You can do this in SQL Server 2005. That's absolutely fine. Um, so I have a few databases here, but let's go ahead and create one from scratch. So what you do, you go into New Query, and then you type Create, Create Database, and then we can call this one ADO underscore practice and then we'll go do a go here and we have to create a table in this new database so let's do use um, ADO practice and then we're gonna create a table here so put another go in there create table let's call this the um, table contacts okay so let's define a few of the a few of the columns in here, the, the stable contacts. Let's do the first one is going to be contact ID, contact ID, um, and this is an int. Let's make it identity. Identity, and then also let's make it into a primary key. Let's try to spell things correctly. Primary key. Let's do the next field first name. Let's call it a varchar. Uh, the hundred is good. Null's fine. I'm gonna do the lazy way here. Let's copy and paste this a few times. And then let's change this column name, this column over here to last name. Let's change this one to email. And let's change this last one to phone number. So once you're done, let's remove the last comma and close it. And let's just highlight the whole thing and press F5 on your keyboard. And we go. We have command completed successfully. And now if you right click your database folder and click on refresh, now you can see that we have the newly created ADO underscore practice database. And if you expand that nod over there and you expand the tables, then you have our new table over here. Let's expand that as well and take a look at the columns. And then we have all the columns that we have created. Okay, so there you go. So this is how you create the table. If you want to follow step by step, this is what this is what you should be typing in your SQL Server. I'm using SQL Server Management Studio. It's a very common tool nowadays to create databases. Um, okay, so we have that defined. I'm going to go ahead and close SQL Server 2008. I don't have to save that. And I'm going to start uh, Visual Studio here. Uh, I'm using Visual Studio 2008. Um, you can use um, you can use Visual Studio 2005. That's fine as well. So file. Let's start a new project. Uh, I'm going to call this the uh, ADO practice. And click OK. So we have our new brand new project here. Um, I'm going to right click and go into code here. So view code. First thing we want to do is import the namespace so then we don't have to qualify every single every single class. So imports system.data.sql client. Okay? And now we can start defining a few of the classes that we're going to need. We're going to need a uh, um, SQL connection, okay? So as new SQL SQL connection and um, what this is the SQL connection class is a pipe between your application and the uh, data tier okay so that's all there is when you when you establish this and you when you call it when you when you call a method when you call it an open method or closed method all you're doing is opening the pipe so then information can be transmitted between your your business application into in, into the business tier and uh, the data tier okay um, 
for this you, we can do data source well actually let me let me teach you how to cheat here a little bit let's go back into the form okay and then we do have the SQL I told you that we weren't going to use this and we're not I'm just te teaching how to cheat a little bit if you go if you look for SQL connection if you don't have this by the way because it doesn't by default it's not there so if you right click and go choose items um, just gonna take a second here um, when you right click and press choose items you have a bunch of uh, classes that you can choose from and if you don't have that available yet the SQL connection class you can go ahead and add to your uh, toolbox and uh, that's what I want to show you here so it's initializing you can filter so let's do SQL SQL connection make sure you type uh, SQL connection so then you're not getting like the SQL C uh, connection it's SQL connection okay and once you have that just highlight it and then click OK okay and that's gonna put it into your uh, into your toolbox so I'm gonna go ahead and just drop this into the form and just follow me here for a second now now that I have that uh, that class on my form actually that's the object actually uh, the SQL connection one object there's a property here called connection string if you click on the uh, drop down here and then you click on new connection then here you can follow the GUI and then you can just copy that connection string later so the server name is usually your computer name or the instance so I'm just gonna use my computer name here and then the database that we want to work with is the uh, ADO underscore practice just popped up right there um, and once you have that information um, you can click test connection and then you see if it succeeded or not so I'm gonna click OK click OK again and if I go back to that connection string now I actually have the whole string so I'm gonna press control C here I'm gonna go back into my code and I'm just gonna paste that in here like that so you see that's kinda that's a it's a way to cheat but it just makes things a little bit easier and then once you once you have this information you can actually go ahead and delete that and just click on top of it press delete button and that object goes away so once we have that, let's test. Let's actually test to see if it works or not. So let's call the load event here. Load. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to call the um, my connection string dot open method. That what this is going to try to do is going to try to establish a connection to the server. I'm running the server and the, and the, the business tier on the same machine, but that's what's going to do. And uh, there's another, there's another um, property. It's actually there's a property of the connection string called state dot to string, and then once that connection is open, let's let's display the state of it, and then let's close the connection. Okay, that's just for testing purposes. So I'm going to click uh, start debugging here, and once that came up, ADO practice is open now. So that means that it went to um, it called the method. It opened the connection, it displayed the state of the connection open, and now it's going to close. So once the form is open, if you look at the, at the sequential code, it actually, it, the connection is closed right now, but that was just for practicing. Okay, we don't actually need to do that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. So that's the first object that we need. We need a connection, a uh, SQL connection object. Now let's get a, a, a data adapter object. SQL data adapter. And then you have different. Uh, it's it's overloaded uh, class, uh, and the one that we're going to be using here is this. We're going to be using uh, number three, um, and so we're going to select everything from. Uh, we're going to select everything from 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 that from that table. Um, from the uh, ADO practice. ADO practice uh, database. We're going to select all items from that table that we created uh, using the connection string. So. We're going to do select all from table contacts. I believe that's what we call. And then we're going to put a comma, and it's going to, it's going to ask you for what's the connection, you know? So we're just going to put that, that object that we created, the connection string in there. Okay? Um, once we have that, we, now we need a data set to display that data. So let's call it a private data set as new data set. So 
connection string is the pipe that goes between your application to the server. The SQL